Here we are. When did he plant those trees? It's time for the annual rabbit hunt. You ready, Ted? Yep. We're fixing to get wild. On today's video, we're gonna be going rabbit hunting with our buddy Pruka, and at the end of the video, we'll show you how we clean and cook rabbits. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe and hit the little bell down there too. Helps out. These guys from Wisconsin don't play around. You said 9.30. <laughs> Yeah, I was just jumping in the shower. Oh, what do you got to take a shower to go no, rabbit hunting? I don't now. Hold up, come here. Come on. He's got some old super speeds, boy. It's good. Let's go kill some bunnies. I got Ted's gun here with his turkey choke in it. So, Ooh, here's a high brass. All kinds. Oh, here's another high brass. For those sticky brush shots, huh? I don't know if we should start by shed hunting or if we should start by <laughs> rabbit hunting. Walk in the corn out. I found five or six in there. Nothing big though. I found one little one yesterday. And I fell in the creek twice. You fell? Well I didn't fall, I went through the ice. I don't know if I'm getting fatter or the ice is getting thinner. <laughs> the way we're gonna do this, because we don't have a dog. We basically just push these thick cedars, any little brush piles and stuff that might hold some rabbits in it. And what we'll do is we'll we'll fan out through there. So Scott or myself, one of us will go around, we'll hook around the front, and then the other guys, me and Ted, will push through the middle of the thick stuff. Just doing like rabbit drives, if you will. We only got six rounds, Ted. Yep, that doesn't count. So I'm gonna, I'll take a shot and then we'll flip and you can shoot. I'm gonna go hook around that brush pile and then see if I can get them. The next little pocket up there too is good. Keep an eye out over there, Ted. They're gonna come shooting out and going for the woods. Right here. Did you get him? Where, where did he shoot out of? He came out of the brush came pile. came right out of there. Yeah, you're in right through here. I think you missed him. That was a tough one though, doubling back behind you. It's all right. We're pushing them down into the thick stuff. Prick has got his man-made water hole right here next to his best stand. What, what is that? It's an old uh, jacuzzi whirlpool or something Kirk got. Oh, really? Yeah. When do the deer use it the most? I always thought they would use it in the summer more, but they almost seem to use it during the rut more. Like, the, at least the bucks. I hardly ever get bucks here in the summer when it's like blazing hot. But during the rut, they'll use it. I just think, you know, there's not any real close water here. It makes, you, made. it makes you feel good, like they're gonna come, but they don't usually. <laughs> <laughs> say that we are about on the verge of a non-episode. We don't see some rabbits quit. Yeah, we really need to make something happen here soon. Nobody wants to watch a video about rabbit hunting where there's no rabbits. We've killed them in this the other side of this fence. We're gonna walk up here to the end and get the sun at our back and see if we can finally get one. Some rabbit turds right there. Just shot in amongst him. He was 35 yards away, probably, but. Oh, got, got him! Got him! Got him. Long shot. <laughs> oh, nice! No, another one, another one, another one! Oh. Dude. I get him? I hit a tree. <laughs> Come on, Ted. You gotta hurry up. I missed him, right here, I guess. Oh, right here, right here! Right under this tree. Is he dead or? No, he's moving. Oh, right there, hey, where? hey, right there, right there. Where, where? Left, 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 where? where? That, that cedar, he just went into that cedar yeah. right there. Yeah, we see him up here. Okay, walk up to, or you get on that side and I'm gonna walk up here, he's gonna go on that one. You ready, Pruka? Finger! That's a different one. Got him! That, that's a different one, I think. I think there's another one in here. 
I think there is another one in here, Scott. Stay vigilant. <laughs> here, Ted. I've shot one now. Your turn. Get ready to wax this one. Is there two in here? Yeah. There's, uh, there should be a... You said you saw him go right in the cedar, didn't you? It might have been that one, but... Right here, right here. Hit me right in the head. Good shot, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the different one because this one came in like that, and then the one you hit was back there and came like that, but just got into a whole frenzy of them. Got him. Nice. <laughs> it was a bunny nest. I left mine in a tree down there. So we all three got one then? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That'll work. There's a couple good cottontails. Small game hunting is fun, boys and girls. Y'all need to get out here and do this stuff this time of year especially. New people involved, that's how I started hunting when I was a kid, was rabbit hunting with my family and my friends. And these yeah. things taste really good. You got your vest on? Yeah, hold me up. Just put one at a time. What are you gonna make out of it? I don't know. What did you say? Rabbit fricassee. Bless you. <laughs> Just <laughs> Frigacy, what? Rabbit fricasse or frigacy or something. I don't know. We'll make something good out of it. I'll find Chef Neil and he'll. You got a Chef Neil hat on today, so. Oh, I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was good. A good ending to the day. Yeah. Let's go clean them. Come on. All right, we got the bunnies back here at the house. They are fairly simple to clean. There's a couple different ways you can do it. You can either skin them and gut them and then just uh, keep them whole cook them that way fry them up uh, cook them in stew but what i'm going to do today is i'm going to quarter them i'm going to skin the rabbits and then i'm going to take the hind quarters off the front quarters off and then there's actually quite a bit of meat along the back straps of a rabbit and i'll show you how to take those off real quick rabbits are easy to clean just make your hole skin them skin them back there's a lot of meat on the back strap of a rabbit. You just find the spine. That runs down through here. You can see it just right here. Just cut right along the edge of that spine. A good sharp knife. I'm gonna peel this membrane back first. That may make it a little bit easier to get into. Just cut right down there along it. You can see how long these things are. They run clear up to the base of the rabbit's neck. And if you peel that membrane back, you can see where the muscle group ends right there. Right along that bottom edge. And all that is good meat down along through there. The more careful that you are, the more meat that you'll have. I'm just kind of grabbing both sides of the tenderloin, or the back strap as it's coming out. This is the best part of a rabbit, I think anyway. There it is. It's a back strap, rabbit back strap. Now we'll take this rear quarter off. There's that little joint, see that ball joint right there? Nope. If you fold that leg back, that joint will break. You can cut the meat, the muscle group right off of there. There we go. And then there is a rear quarter off the rabbit. Take them in the house and get them cleaned up, and then we can cook them up. I'm back here at the house. Got the rabbit in the refrigerator here. I quartered him up, me and Ted did, and pulled the back straps out of them. Real easy to clean. And my buddy, Chef Air Neal, is on his way over to the house right now. He is a wild game chef, if y'all haven't seen him on here before. And just all around uh, redneck culinary extraordinaire, if you will. He's coming over. He's going to show me how to cook this rabbit. Get on in here. Lovely weather we're having, ain't it? Oh yeah. Be a good day to eat some rice. What yeah. in the world do you have there? New Dutch oven, wine. I don't know why I bought so much. I only need just a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neely, what are we gonna do with this here rabbit? Well, we're gonna cook him. It's gonna be a mushroom mustard cream sauce. Basically gonna do a fricassee. We're gonna dredge the rabbit with flour, fry him, Pull him out, then we're gonna combine all our ingredients and cream and stuff to do a cream sauce and then throw it in the oven. What's a fricassee? Fricassee is when you fry meat 
cook it down in a gravy or a sauce. Start off here with your flour. <laughs> Dump it all in. Looks like you got some loin pieces there, is that right? Yeah. Quarters, hind quarters, front shoulder. Them little loins will be really good. Mm -hmm. Dredge that with some flour. And I'm gonna just season it some with the needles. All purpose. Then you're gonna come over here, follow me over here to the hot pot. Got me a Dutch oven going here, medium high heat. Hit it with a little oil. Just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. You don't need a whole lot. Make sure that's hot enough to give you a good sizzle. Where'd you get your Dutch oven? Wally World. I need dang old pair of tongs or something. There's some in that corner. I don't know if they're any good or not. See, I know how to fry a rabbit, but that's about the extent of my cooking ability. Yeah, fried rabbit's real good, but I like to fricassee them. Just It'll help tenderize them. They'll be almost falling off the bone by the time we pull them out of the oven. Look like y'all might have killed one or two before. Yeah, just watch out. We might have a little bit of shot in a few of them hindquarters. <laughs> <laughs> they running away from you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, let that cook down a little. Want to get real brown on both sides. You know, that good GBD, that golden brown delicious. You don't have to worry about cooking the rabbit all the way through at this point. You just want to get good color on it. You're going to pull it off. Then we're going to start our sauce. Once we build our sauce, we're going to go ahead and throw everything back in the pot, put the lid on it, and then throw it in the oven at 350 degrees. It should take about an hour. While that's in the oven, I'll whip up some mashed potatoes, and it'll be a pretty good little meal. What kind of oil did you put in there? Just what you had, olive oil. I can kind of smell it when it starts to get browning up. If you ain't sure, just kind of... Turn it over and that's kind of what you're looking for, that golden brown color. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my ingredients to build my sauce. I got a couple shallots here. Just going to dice these up real nice and small. Do them just like an onion. Put good color on our rabbit. How long did it take to do that? Just now, five minutes maybe? Yeah. At the most, parsley. Gonna just finish it with that. Get a good, give it some good flavor, sweetness. I'd end up cutting my finger plum off if I tried to do that. <laughs> just kidding. That's good enough for the girls I go with. This is starting to get golden brown. Oh yeah, this is a real easy recipe. Once you get to this point, you'll just start throwing all these ingredients in and let that do its thing. It'll cook cook itself down and be unbelievably tender. Just a little bit of butter in there. Butter and shallot. I'm gonna sweat those down just a little bit. And that sook. What's sook? Sook is the stuff that's stuck to the bottom of your pan after you fried something. It's all good flavors and crispies, you know. Crispies are the best part, usually. My favorite one. Anyway. You don't get rid of that, huh? No, nope, just throw it all in there. Did my shallots first, sweated them a little bit. You don't have to go long on them, just a minute, two minutes maybe. Then I threw in my mushrooms, you're gonna let them cook. Basically, you're sauteing those. Jeez. You're gonna use all that pinot? About a half a cup. What'd you buy that big of a bottle for then? Personal consumption. In case this rabbit don't turn out, we're gonna have to have something to get us food. <laughs> Hit it with some garlic, about a tablespoon. You smell all those flavors coming out, it smells delicious. Whew, baby doll. Had to move my light. <laughs> this is professional video production in here. Once you get to this point, you cook your mushrooms down, you got your garlic in there, your shallots. You wanna go ahead and deglaze. White wine. Use about a half a cup. Maybe a little more. I'll let that cook down a little. Oh yeah, it smells good already. I ain't even putting any good stuff in there yet. Let our wine cook down about three, four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of our stone ground mustard. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my rabbit back in there. Get an idea how much cream I need to put in it. 
you want enough cream in there just to cover the top of your rabbit you don't want too much or not enough so I'm going to do it this way so I can kind of see just depends on how much rabbit you got really on how much you would want to put in yours heavy whipping cream just enough to cover everything huh yep I'm going to give it sauce just a little taste test to see if I need to add anything or seasoning Put the lid on it. I had my oven preheated for 350 degrees. I realized I forgot to put my thyme in there. I just want to take a couple stems. That'll do. You know, let that set in there for about an hour and cook down. Then we're going to go to eating on him. To it, huh? Oh man, got some of my eye. Burn the retina off. <laughs> it's been nearly an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and check on this. See what we're working on. Yeah. I think we're ready to eat. Total cook time, what do you say? Probably an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, that's probably right. Put you a little rabbit on there. One of hind quarters. Get me a tenderloin, too. Woo! Baby doll. Hot. We'll partially finish it off. Let's go to eating. A little mashed tater on there with it. That's what I was looking for. Rabbit for crasse. <laughs> Is that not how you say it? Pretty <laughs> food. So hot. Really good. Wild rabbit in a mushroom mustard cream sauce. That's good, dude. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. If y'all got any good uh, rabbit recipes of your own, go ahead and post them down in the comments below. We'd love to see what they are. We'll see you on the next video.